What's good YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and welcome to another video. Carrying on with that Logic 10.5 content, in this one we'll be talking all about Logic's sampler. Now this one is an update that I've been waiting for for a while. Sampler replaces EXS24 and it was definitely worth the wait. So what we get here is a modern redesign of EXS24 with a new name called Sampler but it's completely backwards compatible. So all your previous EXS24 kits that you've created and amassed over the years will work in Sampler. Just load it up the exact same way and you are good to go. Sampler also taps into the filters and synthesis from Alchemy. So you kind of get the power of that as well here. Just so many great things about Sampler. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and take a deep dive right into it. Here is the plugin right here in all of its glory. It is sort of a modular plugin. So you could decide what you want to see on the screen and what you don't. But let's go ahead and just turn everything on right here and start off at the top. If you're familiar with EXS24, it sort of had like a multi-tiered window sort of plugin setup. This one, everything is in one window and very easy to follow. The flow is there. So at the top is your synthesis options. You got your controls for your pitch, your tune, your fine tuning. You got two filters that are borrowed from Alchemy. So you got a bunch of filters that you can play with and uh, mold your sound. Over on the right hand side is your amplitude, so your volume and panning. Right beneath that is your mod matrix. Now this is something that carries over from EXS24 and was actually a really, really powerful, unique tool that I feel a lot of people has overlooked. Essentially what mod matrix is, is a cause and effect effect section. And you could really change up the way that your sample or instrument sounds using the mod matrix. If you'd like a more in-depth look at mod matrix, definitely happy to put out a video on that. Let me know in the comment section below. Right beneath that, we got our modulator section, which you can have up to five envelopes and four LFOs if you want to get really wild and crazy. Right beneath that is our mapping window. So this is the spot where you'll be managing all of your samples. And beneath that is your zone where you can quickly drag in an audio file, work with it and adjust its parameters but I'm gonna show you a couple ways in which to use Sampler today. And I'm gonna show you how to quickly create multi-sample instruments via two methods. So the first method is, here's an audio file right here. It's a trombone. Bone player right over there, just sustain notes. It's a recording of a trombone. And I wanna go ahead and sample this up so that it's stretched out across all my keys. And I want, sampler to figure out what note is what so I don't have to worry about that myself. So to do that, all we got to do is take the audio file, drag it into the header right over here, and we're presented with two options, chromatic or optimized. I'm going to go ahead and use the optimize method, and we're going to go zone per note. So what Logic is going to do, or sampler is going to do, it's going to listen to that audio file, figure out what note is what, put it on our keyboard, and then stretch it out so that I can play it as individual notes as I would any instrument. Just like that, literally instantly, it chopped it up, figured out everything, and we are ready to play out that instrument. Not only does it figure out the pitch of the audio, but it also chops it up for you, places it on the right keys, and if it determines the same note playing in the audio file or with different velocities, so one harder hitting, one softer hitting, it will do that for you as well. So as you can see right here, two different uh, velocities, but the same note, and we can play that at the same time. Not only does it detect the pitch, but it also detects the velocity as well. And it just gets you to create multi-sample instruments really, really quickly. So let me show you another way to create a multi-sample instrument. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new software instrument track. We're gonna bring in another instance of Sampler. And over here, I have sampled a Jupiter 8 right over here. So a pad preset. And I got about 60 audio files right here. And I wanna play this as an instrument in Sampler. So what I'm gonna do is select all of our files. All right, we're gonna click and drag once again into the header, we're gonna to go to optimized, but this time we're gonna go zone per file. Logic is gonna import all that, analyze it, 
and put it out on our keyboard. And now all 60 plus files have been imported into Sampler, placed on the right key, and it filled in the blank. So I didn't have anything below C1, so it just filled in that blank, and anything above C6 filled in the blanks. And now we can play that instrument in Sampler. Just really, really cool. Something that would have taken a long time before now is literally five seconds, and you can play out that instrument. So that is a sampler right here and how to create multi sampler instruments really, really easily. If you do have more questions on this or just want to chat, we can go ahead and carry this conversation down in the comments section below. If you are interested to see what else is new in Logic 10.5, remember to hit that card in the top right hand corner. It will be a playlist and it'll take you through everything that's new in Logic and there's a lot of it. I really recommend hitting that card and learning everything that's new. And then of course, download Logic 10.5. It is a free update. So if you have Logic, download it. Definitely, definitely a worthwhile upgrade. If you don't have Logic and you're interested in trying it out, there is a free version right now. Head on over to the Apple website, download the 90 day trial. So three months, you can try it out. No restrictions, save, export, do whatever you have to do, try it out. And then you can decide if you wanna purchase it from there. That's it for me guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Later, peace.